Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings, and today we're going to be going over how to smoke pulled pork on the pit barrel cooker. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Oh, let's go! You're going to want to start with an 8 to 10 pound pork butt or pork shoulder. You're going to trim off any excess fat or hard fat, and then we're going to score the fat cap in order to have the seasonings penetrate the meat a little bit further. So you could do this uh, by cutting some horizontal and some vertical cuts along the fat cap. Once you have scored the fat cap, it's going to be time to add our binder. You can use mayonnaise, you can use mustard, you can use olive oil, you can use water. Today, I'm going to be using mustard. So make sure that you coat the entire pork butt or shoulder with your binder. Also make sure that you're getting the little crevices that we did create here. That way the seasoning will stick. Next it's time to season the pork butt. You could do this with salt, pepper, garlic. You could do this with your favorite barbecue rub. Today I'm using Meathead's Memphis Dust. This rub has plenty of brown sugar, white sugar, ginger, salt, pepper, garlic. It has a whole bunch of different seasonings that all combine for a great taste. You're going to want to season every single inch of this. You're going to have to open up the little crevices that we created when we were scoring the fat cap. Make sure that you get the ends and the sides. Once you've seasoned the pork butt or shoulder completely, and I mean completely like every single inch, we're going to want to put this on a tray and we're going to cover it in foil and then what we're going to do is put it in the refrigerator overnight and this is what is considered a dry brine we're not using any liquid for our brine it's all with seasoning and we're going to let it sit overnight so the pork butt has been sitting overnight and now it's time to get it on the smoker so when I take it out, first thing that you'll notice, bound by the arrow, you're gonna see a little bit of the moisture being pulled out. So we're gonna add just a little bit more seasoning to the, to the pork butt, and then we're gonna insert our hooks. We're gonna insert our hooks right by the bone, which is usually like the thickest part of the meat. We're gonna put two hooks into this just to secure it. Now that we have our hooks, it is time to get this pork butt on to the smoker. But before we do, I'm going to go ahead and insert a meat probe um, using the Meter Plus. My charcoal is lit, my wood blocks are smoking, and it's time to get this pork butt onto the rods and into the pit barrel cooker. The cooking process for this is probably going to take anywhere from 6 to 8 hours depending on the weight of the pork butt and if there's any temperature fluctuations. It has been about three hours and the bark has now set, which is exactly what I want. Um, I did move this pork butt to the grill grate just because when I checked it at the one hour mark, it looked like the, uh, the meat was starting to pull away from the hooks and I just didn't want this to fall off into the charcoal basket. So I'm probably being a little bit more cautious than necessary, uh, but I just thought it was time to move it. Now that the bark is set, it's time to baste or spritz the pork butt. And this is just gonna add some extra moisture to the meat. I would say that you're gonna wanna baste or spritz the pork butt once the bark is set, probably every half hour or 45 minutes to maintain that moisture. It has been about four hours and I've reached my internal temperature of 165 degrees. And that is about right around the time that I want to wrap this pork butt in order to avoid the stall. So I'll go ahead and take it off of the barrel cooker and then I'm gonna put it in an aluminum foil pan and then cover it with aluminum foil um, but before I cover it with the foil, I'm going to add just a little bit of that basting juice that we were using earlier, which was apple juice. In addition to the apple juice, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter right on top. And then I will cover this with foil before placing it back onto the cooker. It 
It has been a little over six hours and I have reached the internal temperature of 203 degrees so it's time to get this pork butt off of the cooker and let it rest. And this is the key. You're going to let it this rest for about an hour to two hours so that the pork butt pulls in those juices. After waiting about two hours for the pork butt to rest, it's time to shred it. And you can either do this by hand or you can use these bear claws like I'm using right now. Uh, this meat is so tender, it just kind of falls apart as you're pulling it apart. So there really isn't any issue. You can either use the tools or your bare hands. Either is fine. Tonight we're gonna to be using these on some sliders. So we got these little Hawaiian rolls that we're going to be using in order to serve these. Uh, you can serve this up as tacos. You can serve it on pizza. You can serve it as is on buns um, with some sides. It is extremely versatile. It's extremely juicy and tender. That is how you cook pit barrel cooker pulled pork. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe as that's the best way to support the channel. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.